so let's call this meeting to order. Uh, this is the Heartland regular um, school board meeting um, on the first Tuesday of the month, and it is 6.04, and we'll call the meeting to order. So um, I'll take any changes or additions to the agenda. I have a very minor change. I'm going to shift item D of superintendent search committee up above the budget just so that we can not have one thing hanging at the end. Um, so we'll have all the short things and then we'll have a long discussion. Okay. And this isn't on there, but are there any um, announcements? Oh, I guess we'll do, no, that would be the public. Okay, so approval of the meetings, minutes. I'll take a motion to approve the minutes of November 1st. I second it. Okay, moved second. by Beth. Is that Heather? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Second. <laughs> Heather, we're okay with your suit. <laughs> so um, okay. Is there any discussion of the minutes? Okay. Um, since Colleen's remote, I will do a roll call. Um, so, all those in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. Colleen? Aye. Okay. Beth? Aye. Heather? Aye. Sarah? Aye. Nikki? Aye. Okay. So, the minutes have passed five to nothing. Um, with no abstentions. Okay. Uh, public participation and announcements. I just want to say that the um, drama talent yes. show last uh, <laughs> Friday was and amazing. We have, two, we have two participants in the room. Yes. <laughs> you, guys, you guys were both fantastic. Yes. It was so the, much fun. The staff were amazing. Yeah, the kids great. were amazing. The whole thing was amazing. Um, and I just felt like I walked away feeling like we have a really special community. Yeah, so. me too. Yeah, that's great. I think we should thank publicly Jamie, Bernstein, and Melissa McDermott for yeah. yes. pulling together that special community. <laughs> so, um, okay, any other public participation or announcements? Okay, so moving on to the administrative report. And I will start by turning it over to Heather and Meg, who okay. are joining us remotely, and then I'll take over my presentation from there. Sounds good. You guys are up when you're ready. Hi. So I, it's hard to see people in person there. Tina Skihan was planning on being there in person. She is. She's here. I'm here, Heather. I don't, Tina, did you want to talk first, or shall we jump right in? Yep, I can. Um, so for their um, second rotation, for their IDL STEAM project, we um, studied turkeys and researched turkeys, and they made marionettes um, from what they learned. And then um, Megan and Heather um, took it to the classroom and, and went a little further, and they did some script writing and um, put on a little play that you'll see in a minute. Oh, boy. Oh, OK, I'm excited. <laughs> So Meg is going to share from her screen. And I have to take my headphones out for you to hear the volume, right? I don't know. We can hear your voice right now. OK, so I'll try it. I do kind of remember something like that, though. We'll try. share my screen so to, uh, while Meg is figuring that out to give a little background on this um, this is the second time that we've done this particular unit um, I did it last year with my previous grade level partner um, and this year we added on this uh, secondary piece of the um, script writing, creating an actual play and videotaping it. 
Are we ready? I think so. Yes. Ready. Okay. I'll try it with my headphones in. Megan, can you turn up your volume? Zachary and William, and then they will be on very soon. So, see you guys in a sec. <laughs> Hello, guys. My name is Zach. Today, I am gonna tell turkeys live in America. But they always run away. Uh, the, my name is the beard is on the chest of. Birds live up to four years. Now, Mrs. Murray yeah, will give we... you a turkey fact. A turkey can run as fast as 25 miles per hour, and if it's flying, it could even go 55 miles per hour. Turkeys can fly 50 miles per hour, but they fly short distances. Turkeys' heads turn red, white, and blue. Turkeys have Good eyesight to see if predators are gonna eat them. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that was great. Coming up with that many turkey facts. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> but it was so great because there's turkeys everywhere right now. Yeah. So it's gonna give me more to think oh, about. Hopefully you all learned something new about turkeys. 
Uh, we four years. A lot. I think <laughs> years. Lived to be like twelve at least. Four. And how fast it's Yeah. Oh, never seen it. I have a nine year old chicken. do you want to share or do you want to? I'm pampered. Okay. That's bad part. All right, Christine will present. So oh, sure. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Telling us what you've been up to. That's great. Yeah, that's really awesome. <laughs> I love these presentations too. Yeah, I do too. This makes coming here good and better. <laughs> I mean, coming here was good anyway, but it makes it, makes it better. Seriously, it makes it better. To start with, I'd love to include some fun photos. So the the second slide. Hey, wait, I gotta be. Oh, with you. <laughs> okay, there you go. There we go. Second slide. Um, the first is a couple of kindergarten students at the Turkey Trot. Uh, the middle is Mrs. McCarthy's class got a new pet, which they're very excited about. And the third photo here is a seventh grader who was in Tina's elective class and then designed this like with fabric mm -hmm. this would go in her hand and I don't know Tina how to describe it it was like it was a video game control controller so, yeah yes. so she made a glove and attached the makey makey controller to the top so she activated your finger and you would have this really comfy gorgeous glove on one hand and you would control the game here. So oh, cool. Christine actually tried it. Worked. It, out. it, it worked. actually worked. Out. <laughs> That's awesome. I played the video game. That's, <laughs> really cool. yeah. That's great. It was cool. And the fabric was really nice. Yeah. <laughs> and what is the pet? Oh gosh, it's a it's a frog, right? It's a, a certain it's kind a, of frog. It's a African. African. Yes. Okay. Yes, a fun African frog. frog. Yep. Awesome. The next set of pictures are some sixth graders playing some four square. We've got some TK and some younger kiddos <laughs> with Lacey in the middle of that. That's so awesome. <laughs> and then we had um, the little free library. The picture wasn't super clear with the, um, the little free library the students led. We've had, been having students lead all of the assemblies, and it's been really, really wonderful. Um, it's been a nice growth for them, too, because for some of them, I think it's pushing them out of their comfort zone a little bit in a good way um, and helping them really kind of speak to a whole large group of people which can be hard really really hard and some upcoming events is the next slide next week we've got the TK through fourth grade music concert on the 13th the band concert on the 14th and then the holiday market is Saturday the 17th from 9 to 1 uh, we just met as the PTO to finalize some things I think it's gonna be great Brian who heads up the farmers market has really been a wonderful asset for us and is really taking charge of all of the vendor part of it so it'll be fantastic and the next slide is a winter activities update so I wanted to give you this was as of yesterday so if there's been any that come in today it would alter just a little but we've got 111 students interested in skiing which is fantastic yeah, it's great. yeah 40 students wanting to swim 48 wanting to bowl arts and crafts 17 and then for baking games and jewelry all eight students apiece so it really is really a we're excited. I've never experienced it, so I'm, I'm excited to go That's and. Oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah. Yes. So I'm excited. It'll be our last. Yeah. It's so fun. I and I just a comment, I guess, to the board, and I'm sure you guys have had a similar experience. I've talked to so many families that, because we're subsidizing the tickets, they're doing it for the first time. That's amazing. Yeah, and, and I think those numbers show. Those numbers show it. Yeah. But those families, and a lot of them even surprised me that like, money was an issue. Like. I didn't expect them to say that they were doing it because of the subsidy. Um, and so I'm just, that's great. I think it's awesome because that's I think great. we're training Vermonters. Well, yeah, it grows a love <laughs> of a sport if people choose to live in Vermont for their entire life. It grows it grows a love of a sport that exactly. is fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it's so important. Oh, it skill wise. Yep. <laughs> just developmentally. Yep. Well, and Christine has yep. got the next part of it. Um, my There's some more Heartland School in the budget after, but Christine will take the next few slides from here. Um, my report is linked for your enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't, I won't repeat it, but it's there. I will let you know um, 
the one thing that is specific to Heartland will be specific to all the schools uh, within the SU if things go as planned, but under Act 7, uh, 72, which is a School Facilities Act, the AOE has, um, has, has char is, is charged from the General Assembly in establishing a ranking system on school facilities based on the, the shape that they're in. So um, they're, they've allotted $2 million, $2 million in RFSR funds. And they've contracted with Bureau Bureau Vista Technical Assessments. I was in a webinar with them um, to go over what that would look like because Heartland has been selected as one of the schools that's going first, um, which will be December 12th and 13th. They'll be here. And, yeah, Jim thinks it's because we were um, access the, the that pool of money for the HVAC system. We were one of the early oh. early schools to do that. He thinks that's why, but um, a few a few schools have been selected, and uh, but that will really I think help maybe feed yeah. us information into any other renovation. Yes, yes. it absolutely will. Yes. Yeah. What do they look for? Um, there, you know, just uh, I think the areas of need in the building they'll do an I think they'll do an energy you know audit as well while they're in here what needs to be renovated I, I mean there are a lot of facilities in the state that are probably in far worse shape to be honest with you I know okay. you yeah. might know that Heather yeah I know one of them <laughs> you do but they are um, they are going to do this at um, all this the, the plan is to, to go to all the schools in the state and rank them yeah. so they can um, allot funding accordingly and there's only two million dollars in the pool for the, the assessment for the ranking. Oh, got it. Yeah. But not okay. Not not it. Yeah. Got it. Was like two million dollars. Yeah. So Heartland is going to be um, <laughs> next week. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be really soon. Yeah. <laughs> Are they coming like during school hours yeah. and like is there a lot of people coming or is this like? Uh, there, uh, there are two technicians that are coming, I think, okay. and um, they will be accompanied by a maintenance um, staff member Got it. Okay. while they're here. Jim said it would probably be him or yeah. Joe. Yeah, someone. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And that is all I'm reporting on tonight. Okay. okay. And I just wanted to keep all of us, and if you would like me to keep it within my administrative report moving forward, I can. I've updated the next slide, Christine, is um, yeah, right. the, <laughs> the survey that I just have linked continuously in the Wildcat Weekly mm -hmm. um, has That's 15 right. respondents, which is, is good, better than the last time I reported about it. Um, so for those 15 that responded, mm -hmm. they were feeling, 66% of them were feeling like Heartland School is what the name should be. Interesting. And the next slide is a, a parent guardian, like what uh, you community member or alumni, there is an option to choose multiple, so if you're an alumni who is also a parent or guardian, then you mm -hmm. could choose both of those. Um, primarily those who have responded are parents or guardians within our school community. And I included the next slide, Christine, is just those are the only comments that ha that I have gotten. So not every person decided to put comments. I'm still concerned about like the bottom one about like I because they they're the same. There was like the same almost comment when we the staff this whole idea of like mm -hmm. I feel like there's so much energy being put in this. There's there's all these other things and I like I'm so curious as to like you know that but it has nothing. I feel like I have the energy to. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's been that much. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. We've just sort of talked about it and yeah. had one survey. We just. Yeah. It feels but, important, though. Yeah. I feel like yeah. we're just doing our job. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Um, right. Yeah. That's odd. And a name has meaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you like me to keep it within the administrative report moving forward? It's yeah. not items well, for I'm discussion. I mean, right. Yeah, it's an item. Oh, it is. No, no. It yeah, is. it is. Yeah. Yep, it is. Yeah. Like, so we can discuss it then? Or... Okay. We'll keep All right. going. We'll keep going. <laughs> All right. Keep going. And next is the budget. And the slide after that one is the things that I just wanted to remind all of us that were... Yep, there we go. This wasn't changed from the last board meeting when I showed the slide, but I just wanted to remind us that of what things to keep that were kind of the bigger items that were in there and then things to potentially think about adding in. Um, the only the only slight change 
Last month I had FY23's town treasurer stipend, which was a little bit less than the 5502. That is the, the most recent for FY24, so that's the only change in, in that slide. And last month we had talked about, you can go to the next slide, Christine, yep. Last month we had talked about the flooring out here, so I asked Jim Taft of what his thoughts were, and he said there really wasn't a whole lot of price difference between the VCT tile and carpet, and that he mentioned that if carpet was maintained well, that it could be reused in any potential renovation. So if we were to ever move anything around, if it was upkept well, you could pick it up a whole lot more easily and I, he made it seem like with BCT tiles you wouldn't really be able to do that. Um, but in terms of price, not really a large difference one way or the other. And he's probably talking about the carpet tiles, right? Yeah. It can just yeah. come up. Right. Yep. Yep. And then the next slide has linked Christine to the FY24 budget presentation. Do you want to move to that on the agenda or do you want to? Yeah, uh, well, okay, so I think let's hold off on that for a second. Okay. Yep. Um, so we talked about winter activities. Is there anything else that people want to talk about with winter activities? I just, just need some snow. Yeah, we need some snow. Yeah, we need some snow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's not going to be very many. Mm -hmm. those, yeah. Of those 111 kids are going to be <laughs> like running up and down two sides. Mm -hmm. Well, they have some snow making there. But we don't so do they do some rain. They have a tent. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just really excited. I'm really excited about those numbers. Yeah. And I'm really excited about the swimming numbers, too. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's great. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and this, the cost this, of the swimming was covered as well, correct? Oh, okay. was that? Was the cost yeah. for the swimming covered as yes. well? Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, so we have school name, um, which we got an update on that. Do you guys have a bell update from our crazy bell discussion? <laughs> um, not, full disclosure, not a whole lot. Sorry, okay. Heather, I apologize. <laughs> I know. Sorry, it's it's it, is, it is still on the list. No worries. We was, wait. We did. Oh, did, yeah, how did I did. not hear it? We did. Uh, we did. Uh, oh, we did have a student in the crater. She, uh, it was really funny because during oh, the assembly, you were uh, busy. Uh, John, you know, I asked John Samuel to you know, teach somebody how to do it. I grabbed his student was like, this is the one that should be doing it. And he walks over and is like, this is all you do. Press that. Right. And, that's it. and she was like, that's it? And I was like, are you kidding me? So, it's very yeah, it's so, a yeah, so it's very, it's There's all no automatic. Pulling? It's just a simple oh, thing. Seriously? And it's all done. So yeah, um, at 2.20, um, she ran over so that she did it right as everybody was getting dismissed. So, yeah. Did, did anyone notice? Oh, did, like, I didn't hear. I wonder, can you only hear it outside? So if I have, I don't know. Let's try it. I, right? I wonder. Because <laughs> if they were inside, then they... You probably do. John Samuel would know if you could hear it inside versus outside. Because like on the last day of school when we had done it in the past, oh, everyone was outside. Right. So right. you could yeah. hear yeah. it. Bring it right. over. Right. And over. That's true. Well, yeah, it goes on <laughs> it goes and over and over. over. Yeah. So is anybody doing research on these to like... Okay. Alina did some research. Yeah. Yeah. Like, are any yeah. kids finding some research on these to try to awesome. to try to do this? Because We I will think, wait yeah. to hear from the kids. Yes. <laughs> Didn't they already go out? It is in... I'm trying to think if that... Oh, was it in the most recent... Um, of the newspaper, I think it was. The most recent newspaper yes, is that was just one the side researched by students. Yeah. Cool. Nice. There's been some other sides as well. So, <laughs> oh. differing stories. Oh, oh nice. I love that. Awesome. History is always History. Yes. And that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. When is that newsletter coming out? Was that? I think it. No, it is the out. Newspaper. It is out. Okay. Is it linked in the Wildcat oh. Weekly? Okay. It was Christina. not last week, but Tina's we can going to save the day. Oh, yeah, thank Ms. Tina has Good the copy of it. Awesome. Um, but I can put it in there. That's Friday. That's an easy one because you know, the last time I just yeah. screenshotted it and put it in there yeah. as images. Nice. Okay. Um, thank you. Okay, so we'll wait. Um, we can just keep read that, that on, on the agenda. agenda. What? Keep that one on the agenda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, uh, the superintendent search committee. Hold on, can I ask about like school names? So are we are we moving in a direction yet to like make this happen? Like, what's sort of our timeline um, of what we're doing with school names? I thought we wanted to have a discussion around town meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think um, I think we need to bring it up at town meeting to get it to the masses. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's good to keep it up on there. Um, and I, I would like to just present the idea at town meeting. I don't think there's a huge rush um, unless we really have a sign emergency. Um, and <laughs> Colleen, you can just talk. <laughs> Oh, awesome. That's what I really like to do. <laughs> uh, I just wondered if somebody had posted it on the listserv. I thought about the that. survey. Yeah. Um, I feel like in that, I feel like it, well, it kind of has Did, context. Yeah. It does. Dave Ormiston recently had given me a suggestion, and, and I don't know what you all think about this. It was, I think sometimes with the town, what he'll do is he'll say, you know, please go to the, the town website for this survey. Uh, so then it it mm, potentially doesn't awesome. become like a, a back and forth right. email type yeah. of scenario. Right. And so maybe that's the better yes, Yeah, maybe that's really. the better way to just say, Hey, go on the school website, please fill out this survey on Heartland Schools so then I mean we could link the school website and right. so someone could link and that sounds good to me. That way. Yeah, okay. that's, that's you know we may uh, as we're if we're going to direct people to a survey on the um, school website, I wonder if we should pre-plan a couple of other questions so that they could so it leads us to town meeting better. And I don't know what those questions are right now. Um, I mean, on the survey yeah. itself. Yeah. Okay. Beyond yeah. The name or just more yeah, questions? beyond the name, just like. Like, are there something about bells? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> um, no. I, I'm just trying to think, like, if there's other things that we want. I know that there's other things that we want feedback from our community. I just can't think about what they are right now. Um, so do you want me to put a pause on it? Temporarily, yeah. and then until we, uh, yeah, until yeah. we remember what this. Yeah, I think because I feel like you're right that there's some other things we've said. Oh, it would be good to ask exactly the community how they feel. Mm. Uh, you know, part of it may have been um, during our discussion about the possible renovations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So yeah, and there, I feel like there's something else too. But yeah. that's a good idea. So it's not just it's not like this issue. Right. Um, this is the only issue. It's like, please help us with the five things that we're wondering about. Yeah. Yeah, that would be. Okay, so hot off the press. We're going to pause that. Yep. That's fine. Um, so I won't do anything with that moving forward, but for next month, what I'll do if this works for you all is I'll keep, if there's nothing, let's say there's no additional surveys yeah. that have been completed, I'll just let you know that, that yeah, it's still the same, but if there's anything additional, I'll put that in there. Yeah, and we we may, um, when we do the next agenda, we may um, call it like survey, community survey or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, Can I, um, was it also the band, like for instruments, that you guys were going to Put out there too, to see if anybody had any yeah. Jamie like did. Oh, yeah, like Jamie has right. yeah. 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 good yeah. instruments. Good instruments. Yeah. I don't know where we are right now because she got a bunch from. She did, um, and we I approved the the expenses to repair those. There were some that she got that were not repairable. Which was kind of a bummer. I mean, it was yeah. wonderful that they were given to her at no cost, but they just, right. the companies itself that needed to replace them said that it wasn't replaceable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to put it on the agenda as a community survey. Okay. But it's a short, this isn't like a long thing. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so now on to the superintendent search. And I wish I had. Okay, so we need to, um, there it is, uh, we need to pull together a um, screening committee, and Colleen and Beth, feel free to chime in if I miss something. Uh, we need to pull in a screening committee for um, our superintendent search, um, and we would like to have um, a board member from each uh, town. That would be four board members um, on the search. And then um, we'd also talked about uh, two building administrators, two central office staff, um, a teacher support staff. And we had a long discussion about community members. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're leaning. 
thought they were leaning toward it, but it, yeah. it was also like, is there the difference between what's the screening committee versus right. the right. whatever. Right, the exactly. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that we're ready to select. We definitely want community input, but um, there was a lot of discussion on the screening committee. So mm -hmm. today, we need to pick one of us out of the five of us to be Can on you describe the, the screening, screening committee. Okay, the screening. I will the read job? the mission. What's the job? The WSU board <laughs> charges the super, superintendent candidate, and this is me reading out loud, superintendent candidate screening committee with the authority and responsibility to conduct the initial superintendent screening process. This process shall start following the receipt of, well, okay, secretary that's involved. The screening committee will work with the BSBA consultant, Jackie Wilson, to complete the screening process and shall strive to present three licensable candidates to the full board that meet the search criteria established by the board, which is also being established right now. Um, the screening committee shall provide information on the finalists, the finalist candidate's experience, specific skills, and related background details to the board following the completion of the initial screening process, but shall not rank, rank order the candidate list. So, to summarize, um, <laughs> Because <laughs> that's that, a lot of that didn't mean much to me. The screening committee is going to um, send out, like, will help with um, establishing the search criteria, get the resumes in, read the resumes, and pick three from those resumes without doing interviews or with without doing, doing interviews. Okay. So you're like you're just looking at in a back resumes. room trying to figure out how to move the process forward. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, so you're just going to look at look at candidates and decide who to move forward, um, but not even really rank them or anything like that. So yeah, you're not like once those three forward. move forward, then there's another committee that selects? The SU board. board. Okay. Yeah, the full board. Then the full board does. There was mention of another, like a third committee um, in there. What's that? Uh, well, there's, um, there isn't, so there's the full board. There's the full board, the screening committee. The screening committee, and that's the process. That's it. Okay. Yeah. How often are they meeting and when? Um, so, <laughs> there's a lot. Um, and, and people that are on the screening committee need to uh, be, like, 100% on board. Um, so... Okay, so the screening committee is due next week. The people that are on the screening committee is due next week. Um, the week of the 19th um, is the first, uh, oh no. Just approve it. Yeah, no, they need to discuss and approve the job posting and salary range. Um, this board is, the screening committee is gonna meet like a lot in January, like almost weekly. Um, yeah. Weekly meetings in January and maybe even bi-weekly. Um, and then I think the screening committee is done at the end of January. So it's like really intense, intense January. Intense, sure. Yeah. Intense January. Nikki, and then moving on. I yeah. think in the document that she sent, she said... She sent an updated one. Oh, did she? Yeah, oh, I'll share with you. It says... Uh, the committee members' individual ratings and comments will be put together by the BSB consultant, possibly together with other information gathered by the BSBA consultant, to inform the group's decision of what candidates the committee will interview as semifinalists. The committee will interview semifinalists. Oh, they will. And then oh, choose no. up to three. Oh, okay. To, rec to so recommend to the SU board. So we do actually get to be part so of the interview we'll be process. part of the interview the, process. The yeah. first round, yeah. Okay. Sounds yeah. like. And are okay. the meetings in person or are they virtual? No, I think they're going to be in person. Both. In person. Yeah, I think, I think she said both. both. She wants some. She's coming from away too. Yeah, she's coming from a distance. Oh, your meetings. I think she said the interviews are in person. Yeah, the screening yes. committee may be virtual. I don't know that the initial interviews. I think yeah, the final interviews. Yeah, like they may be virtual. Yeah. The first round. I think there's some virtual. I think there's okay. a good virtual component. Okay. There may be a couple. I think she wanted to have the first meeting in person just to get to know people. Yeah. yeah. Um, I will admit, because it's hockey season, <laughs> January is not a good time. Yeah. I don't have any extra space. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, is anybody? So I mean, so I sort of feel like I I will do I will do it. Um, I think I can make that work, especially if there's some virtual meetings. It would okay. be hard for me to do to do biweekly oh. in-person meetings. But yeah, no. And here you can take um, a look at. But I also feel like. I would be I would very happily defer to those of you who are, you know, I, because I'm going to be, I'm not going to be here. I, I, I feel a little bit like maybe it's better for someone who's kind of going to be, in, you know, invested in the process going forward. Um, but I, but I, but I'm also happy to do it if it would be a help to the board. That's where I am. But I'm very happy to defer if one of you would would like to be part of that process. It is a it's a really important it's a really important job and uh, um, Colleen, you're gonna pipe in when you need to, yeah, right? Colleen. <laughs> I'm not you're not like sitting you're up not there all by yourself. <laughs> I, can't, I thought maybe you couldn't see me and I could you know just be you know that bush where they yeah. <laughs> where Homer Simpson backs into it. <laughs> um, I'm, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I I have nothing to say. Okay. I think Sarah, I'm, it is kind of busy for me. I think it would be great, Sarah, if you would do it, and I think it would be okay if you're not going to be here. I'm, what I like about pointing to this table, what I like about you guys is that you're not on the SU board. And so it is yes. getting input from somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. So yeah. So Heather, I mean, if you feel because like I, there's a part of me that really, really wants to, but I'm I start doing this course in um, January, and so now that's like three nights a week away. Feels a lot, but like again, like do you want to think about it a little bit, and we could you and yeah, I could email let's, tomorrow let's, and make a decision. Let's, yes, that would let's, be a great okay, idea. Can we do that? So, yeah. Let's do, do we have any dates set? Like if if they said like it would be on like Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, like when your courses. Are yes, because like if right. they say it's on Mondays, like I, I can't. That's a but good like, point. Yeah, and I suppose that's also true for me because I do have some evening. So like issues, if somebody right, said like with my library what the actual things yeah, were, yeah. like yeah. right. And if they uh, no, maybe not yeah. all were like, they weren't all virtual. Like if they were, some of them were virtual. That would be helpful too. I think okay. that the plan is that some of them are virtual. Okay. Um, I I think that was my understanding. Yeah, my interpretation was that the first one should be in person. Yeah, just yeah, just to the, get to know people. The, yeah, the woman who's running it just wants to yeah. meet people. Yeah, and it would be obviously it would be in winter. It would be at the SU offices. Probably. Actually, they were talking about rotating it since it's yeah. one, since it's one person from each board to move it around. Okay. Yeah. So then not everyone's having to drive to winter all the time. Except yeah, because you have to drive. That means we would have to drive to Weathersfield and Redmond and, 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 and Redmond. <laughs> well. So, but that's what they're saying all the time. We have to drive to whatever. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. My summary of this discussion is that we have made a decision that you two decide. are going to talk. <laughs> We're going to talk. We're going to talk. I'm just going to think about it. I'm going to think and, about it. Yeah. But I'm, I'm very seriously considering it. I just have to know. Do if, we like, have any follow-up questions for the consultant regarding the responsibilities that that yeah. need be answered before we can make that decision? Yeah. yeah. And the, is if there's any sense of the if the meeting and the days and and right. times that would be very helpful. I think that's going to be decided by the committee. I wonder if you could share the job, because we kind of did some of that with the um, initial interim interviews. Yeah, I think I, I think there's sharing. Ones. Yeah, I think there is sharing within the committee, but I think that once we select the person, it has to be one the person. Because you kind of have to have all the information and impressions and right. yeah. I mean, one thing that we could do is say that our number one candidate is this person, but depending on what the meeting schedule is, like we may have to switch out somebody. I feel like, like right. Well, and also just like if I mean, if she said, you know, we will be meeting, you know, every Tuesday and Thursday from five to eight. I think it's mostly like, once a week. I don't think it's twice a week. Yeah. yeah. I think there are some Sheesh. more more And obviously when we're doing the interviews, um, that will be a busy week. Right. Probably. 
can yeah. see those later. So I just shared on one document that she sent, um, she proposes some dates. I think they're proposals. Yeah. Okay. January 10th, yeah. January 17th. Okay. January 31st, February 6th through the 17th. Wait, I thought we were just doing January. The 21st? Uh, so 10th, 17th. The 10th, the 17th, the yeah. 31st. Oh, 31st. And then interviews happen uh, during the week of February 6th through the 17th. Okay, yeah, I mean, if that was it. And they are one and a half hours okay. in length. They are one and a half hours? Yes. Each interview. Oh, approximately. Okay, so this no, is the proposal. Uh, each, each, meeting. each meeting. Each meeting. With each the meeting. committee. Got it. Yeah. Okay, so that's Tuesdays. Yep, that's Tuesdays. <laughs> that is Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah. Tuesdays. so she does say they are one and a half hours in length and will be in person. Okay, so okay. Oh, wow. Okay, person. so those are all in person. Um, so, yeah, Tuesdays, obviously, one Tuesday is tough for me, and the third Tuesday of every month, which I believe is the 17th, 17th. is tough for me. Um, well, right. it's impossible for me because I have to run the library board meetings. Right. So. I see. When was the interviews in February? The week the of the 6th through the 17th. Okay. Which is 11 days. 6th through the 17th. That's two <laughs> That's weeks. That's more weeks. than a week. <laughs> well, she says the committee... Um, yeah. Semifinalist interviews will occur on a day during this time period. The committee will select days and times based on the number of candidates, okay. etc. So if we have like, so I'm imagining if there are like 10 people apply, then we have to, of those 10, select three to interview? Or no, you select no. you select the ones that are worth an interview. Right. And you but bring forward three. We bring forward three. That's, yeah. the, that's okay. the plan. Yeah. Got it. If possible. OK. Okay. Um, but there will be ten. <laughs> and I sent that to you, Nikki, and the other board chairs. Thank you. Yeah, All right. So, oh, she, so you'll think, I think I'm thinking. I'm going to look at my calendar. No, she sent it to me and email. asked me to. Um, so we've got a board meeting on this Tuesday. Solicit various stakeholder groups. I think I sent it to the teachers. I assume she sent it to you. Oh, she did. Oh, okay. She sent it to you to send out. Yeah. She said this feels awkward. I'm like that one. And then it would be. So that would be it for that. Um, and then it would thank you. A couple thank of days you. In here. Well, yeah, thank you exactly. for okay. joining us. Thank is you. there anything you wanted to? to we know. I just uh, wanted to show face. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank I you. Have to go back to work. Yeah. yeah. Thank, you. Hours, so. thank, thank you. No, I appreciate you. it. Thank, thank you very much. Pleasant boots. Okay. Um, okay. <sighs> So you've okay. got till the 19th to figure it out. The 19th of December? At the next oh. SU board meeting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So do a little thinking. I'm going to do a little thinking. I'll, um, Christine, did you, can you send that, those yeah. dates to me? I think you. I'll send you the. And this is, yeah. I don't think, I don't think this is an open meeting issue. I think we can email about this and have discussions on email as long about as we don't gonna be discuss on any yeah, content. Logistics. As long yeah, as it's, it's logistical. logistical. So. Got it. So we will have logistical emails going around. Tuesdays okay. are like the worst for me. <laughs> I mean, Tuesdays are like the night that everybody has meetings for everything. I know. So it does seem like. And I have kids at two different rinks. If there was perhaps Tuesdays. some flexibility on that on the evening. Yeah. yeah. Um, I said both of you. So you can thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so you two talk. Come back. It sounds like you're out. I haven't heard much from you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to argue the situation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I mean, if, if it can okay. be figured out between the two of them, and I think okay. you're right, I like the idea of having somebody that's not on the SU board. Just because I do. I really like involved in the rest okay. of the search. Sure. Because yep. you'll be in yep. on the ground floor, yep. and we'll then be handing it up yes. to the SU board. So. Okay, cool. Um, budget time. All right. All right. <laughs> so Where's the cookies? cookies? Like, who brought the cookies? I know. Who's, who's supposed to bake the cookies? Ooh. Well, apparently I was supposed to bake a pecan already. pie today. <laughs> Looking across the pond. That was one thing that he said he missed. I know. But then he Did said he really he, tell you? He had to eat his pecan pie with pumpkin pie, so I have to make both. Although he said there was another <laughs> dessert that he didn't know he was going to like so much. I love it. I just don't remember what it was. Oh. We, had, we had such a great discussion over food. <laughs> it was like one of my favorite discussions. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I can't remember what the other dessert was. Mm -hmm. oh, no, Trevor, 
said that he needed pecan pie for Thanksgiving and he didn't get it. Oh. And he's a little upset no. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Is it a secret stuff. recipe? Uh, actually, my mom and dad usually make a chocolate pecan pie, mm -hmm. which is Ooh. very good. And it's a standard King Arthur recipe. Okay. Can I ask this newbie on the board here, can somebody walk me through just a tiny little bit of like how this budget thing works? Just a little... Okay. Oh, just a little little background. Just so so okay. So it works a little differently than it has in years past. Okay. Um, because in years past, and I don't even know if anybody was on this board when this used to happen, we would get handed a sheet of all the numbers. Yeah. And yeah, I your that. eyes would glaze over and yeah. be like, I have no idea what like. How, do, how, do I how how do our programs fit into these numbers? Because it wasn't clear at all. So um, we no longer do that because it wasn't clear at all. <laughs> so now the way that we've done it for the last couple years is that um, Christine and now Lindsay um, have really pulled out the programmatic parts so that we're not looking at the, we're looking at numbers, but we're not looking at the um, <laughs> gross table because not the programs don't fit into the table as of how we have to report it to the state. So we're now looking at the programs that we want, how the budget looks with the programs that we, like with the kitchen sink, this is what the budget looks like, and then we need to make decisions um, based on what we think the town will support. Do you understand the process of how tax rates get set I and do. how that slots into our process? Yes, I get okay. that part. Okay, because right, cool. that's kind of the important that is, thing. Yeah, that's yeah. important too. Yep, um, I get that part. And so, um, uh, prior to that, though, Lindsay's meeting with staff. Mm -hmm. yes. What do you, What are you, What are the needs? Um, she's meeting with Ed to do the wage and benefit with projected mm -hmm. staffing. Um, she is meeting with Nikki. Yep. <laughs> Talk about. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, and they're putting it all together. Yeah. yeah. But before all this, the SU budget was already put right. together. Right. Yeah. And so yeah. a big chunk of our budget is just coming directly right. okay. from the SU and budget. And there's like a well. financial don't person. Have a that's, oh, yeah. That's like yeah. looking yeah. like yeah. line yes. by Ed. line to make Ed. sure yep. Ed. Okay. So yes. Ed is, okay. You know who Ed was. And Ed, 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 Ed takes, and, yeah, Ed yeah. and I do it together. Yeah. 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 And okay. Ed takes like, you know, we want to keep this, but that technically fits into like five different codes. Yeah. Right. And so he does all of that right. fitting, and we don't look at that anymore because it's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> um, it helps us understand the large number, and we can see if things add together. But I, I trust that other spreadsheets can add. Um, so, and then from here, so we decide. So the SU budget's already been voted on. Yeah. Been approved. And then that gets fit into our budget. And then from here, we decide what we want to present to the taxpayers. And we vote that that's what we're going to present to the taxpayers. And that's what gets worn for town meeting. Got it. Then we do a presentation before town meeting, and then it gets voted. OK. And at this meeting right now, are we deciding what is going to get warned? Or because it's the December meeting, and I'm sure that like we I think right. we have to decide by January. Okay, so, so it has so to do with the printing schedule of the actual report. Yeah. So the things could be, yeah. so we could change our minds between now and January 3rd, because that's our what next is, board meeting? Yes, yeah. oh, January 3rd. Okay. If, yeah, yeah, January 3rd. If, if you want to propose some changes, if yeah. it doesn't sit right with you tonight, yeah. it would be good to know that prior to the next meeting. So okay. Yeah. Got yeah, it. yeah, we need yeah. to run the numbers before the next meeting, okay. um, but yeah. we don't need to vote on the morning. Tonight. So we vote on that, that on the third. You and could vote on it tonight. We could, but yeah. you don't have to. We but I don't know that I feel like I'm ready to. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, but if and there's anything, Heather, that as I'm going through this, that you're like, I have questions about this, yep. or there's something that maybe that you know you want to talk further about, we can do that. And this is a time when Ned and I afterwards right. can go back and relook at things yep. that come in January with something different. Proposed. Okay. Yeah. And the word from the Department of Ed, right, was budgets statewide up about eight percent, which is a which is higher than it has been in a yeah. while. Yeah. A lot of you know, federal money that was offsetting, and yet, uh, or no, sorry, the education fund was offsetting, and yet it looks like tax rates will be up. 
I mean, that was yes. sort of the general. Yeah, I think it's because the CLA is Because down. of the CLA, that's right. Right. And that, yeah. that increases budgets. Yeah. Yes. So that's the common level of appraisal. That's what your houses are assessed at. So, and so you think when it goes down, your tax rate would go down, but no, it's the opposite. But yes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And, and it's like, it's good to have, for us to have that in mind, yeah. because as we're looking at the budget, like, you know, it's maybe, maybe it is a year to say, let's build a swimming pool, but it might not be a year to say, let's build yeah. a swimming pool. Right. Are you thinking so about building a swimming pool? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> and the, I'm the, just kidding. No swimming pool. <laughs> the SU okay. budget is up 11.5%. The okay. state forecasted, what was it, 8.5%? 8.52. Yeah. Yeah. So um, and the equalized pupil count is going down. Not yeah. a surprise across the state. Yeah. Our population yeah. is aging. Yeah. So and that's the, the, rate the so. average equalized pupil spending is estimated to be higher, obviously. Yeah. So, um, so just to keep in mind. Yeah. I I feel like I need a print out of what we're discussing. Could you hit Do you want us print? to print it out before I get started? Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I looked through, I yep. like, at least a print of the things that we, the pluses and minuses. Mm -hmm. um, yes, thank you, Michael. Um, it might take a minute, Michael, it's just generating. Oh, he's going to do it. OK. Um, yeah, I don't know what pages should be printed because I'm just going from this We morning. could print the whole thing. There's 18 total, but if you go back to back. Yeah. Yeah. Let's that is with a surplus. I think they said 63 million in the state fund, right? Right. Surplus. It's, we're still going to be up. So. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it is the year to build a swimming pool. Because, no, 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 that no. Has, that's the rates oh, up after that. It's oh, applied. got it. I Wait, the rate is the up after that's applied? I thought that, that was. Yeah. No, I think that the, they're projecting that schools are going to spend 8.5% higher, and then we have to use that surplus. But even after the surplus, the, it's they, still gonna they go said higher. the rates yes. are going to be yeah. higher. Yeah. Um, in, in some cases, significantly higher. So what bothers me about that whole CLA thing is that the CLA, in theory, is going to go down for the entire state. Like, right. because all of the property values are going up. Yeah. And but so so yeah, it says, right. for this coming year, even after applying the surplus, the average tax bill is likely to still rise by 3.7%. Okay. And that is just due to school, nothing else. Yet. Yeah. 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 It's just the school tax we're getting. Yeah. Are you printing? Yeah, it was good to lean on her time and see if it. So it's, yeah, so it's a, it's a year we have to be careful. I mean, it's a yeah. 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 Well, and next year's a true clip with all the Ezra funds. And next, exactly. next, next year's year is clip with the Ezra funds. So and that, there will be no surplus probably next year. Is there a way that we can be like financially, I don't want to say frugal, but financially frugal this year to like prevent a bigger cliff for next that year, knowing that we're just to have? Okay. Because mm -hmm. I feel like the more we can protect whatever the cliff is going to look like, mm -hmm. I feel like we should consider. And we also didn't get title. Our, um, Free and reduced rate is not at 40%. I think we hit 30, 32, yeah, 32, we we tried. 32, so yeah. And so last year, there was a waiver in the rates because um, breakfast and lunch were free across the country for all kids. Yeah. This year, it's in Vermont. I don't know if the feds are going to waive that as a federal program. So. Right. We hope they're going to waive that this year, so that we keep, um, so that we continue to be a Title One school, mm -hmm. yeah. because we do get funding that um, uh, allows us to hire two full-time interventionists at yeah. Heartland, two two Title-funded interventionists right now. And so, from thirty to from forty to thirty-two, you completely lose all forty percent is makes you a Title school. Yeah. Anything under that, you're not. You yeah. get some money, but not. Um, you're not considered a title, title one school. Okay. A full yeah. time, whatever that's called. Yeah. Okay. So, but we're hopeful. We don't know. Yeah. We could get a waiver. We're hopeful. We're hopeful. Yeah. I'm sure. Yes. I'm sure we're working on it. 
Sorry, the printers, both of our computers, the printer's giving us a hard time. It's <laughs> okay. And all of a sudden you're going to come in and have 40 copies of it. I know. <laughs> the budget. Tons of copies of the budget. Um, okay. I'm going to read. You're going to read about the uh, bell? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to read about the bells. Way to go, Mr. Samuel. Wait, and there's a Heartland Skate Park Club? I didn't know we had a Heartland Skate Park. Yeah, we need a skate park. Somebody there was a, a Windsor park. teacher that got, and, and Chris Lord, Chris, Chris Lord, Lord, yeah, who got a grant and had extra skateboards. Whoa. And, yeah, and Where's they the offered park? Lebanon. No, why don't we put one here? There's one in Windsor. There's one in Windsor. Mm -hmm. The yeah. kids prefer the Lebanon one. Yeah, it's, well, yeah. <laughs> There's one in Claremont. Yep. Well, that was so do they go to the do they go to the Lebanon one? Like they do as a club. And he, awesome. I don't think he took the Heartland kids, but they he just took this past weekend the Windsor skaters yep. to Burlington to some indoor wow. skate park. Yeah. Okay, Are they like cool. teaching? Because I know I, I have a child that so. wants to skateboard. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't. I mean, he he goes with the kids and they skate. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How do you get your kid into the skateboard club? Um, is there an age? I think I can ask Mr. Lord. Yeah. I don't know that it's a formal. I think kids bring their skateboards and they go skateboarding after school. <laughs> I think they do. Mm -hmm. But I can ask him. That's cool. He did take. But like, what are the Heartland kids doing? Do they just stay here? Mr. Bob, when, do you know I would that? say when just Michael watch. comes back in, I bet he would have Michael a good answer. Works, yeah. Yeah. And can we submit our own pets for Pet of the Week? <laughs> I don't see why not. <laughs> so many good questions. Right? I'm going to put my eight year old chicken in there. Yes. <laughs> can I just put it? How about my child lay? for Pet of the Week? Uh, <laughs> you know, she only laid three eggs a year to begin with, and so now we're down to one. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> one a year. One egg a year. Oh Your tur turkey does wow, better than that. that's like a big day she when she lays that egg. Not well, only that, like <laughs> her eggs are like the color of the green chair. Oh, cool. And so, and she usually lays them right around Easter. Oh, So wow. it's really cool. Wow. Easter morning, I went that's into the nest cool. box, and there was a green there egg. There was a green oh, egg. Yeah. That's cool. So. But that's the only one. I mean, it's not useful. that cool because that's you more not useful a lot of on your plate. No. <laughs> and you have to be like, it's so fragile. Yeah. <laughs> what what you do you do eat it? I need more yeah, calcium. There was oh, some you more do eat it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but who gets it? Like, you have all. Oh, well, it sits right? in the egg, whoever. <laughs> thing, and then eventually we just so got to get them. Like, <laughs> have like, are you sure they're not eating the eggs? Because we've had yeah. issues with that. No, all the other eggs are there. Okay. I mean, it's an eight year old chicken. There you go. Right. Who was never a good layer to begin with. <laughs> so, and it's the only one that's that color. So. Our chicken is What is the lifespan forward. of a chicken? More on eight, like six than years. I think. Yeah. They wow, so red is five to eight. eight. That's like, great. She's past her. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. Every time I go into the coop, I'm like, she's still alive. <laughs> yeah. And this is the she one really I thought was going to be gone at the beginning. She I still remember is getting a getting eggs as a kid and putting my hand underneath the chicken to get eggs. It was dead. It was dead. Uh, <laughs> don't have the kids do that. No. <laughs> I'm still at 47. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I want to read about the bells. The bells are taking at some point. One Thank you. Oh. Did it look? Yeah. It okay. just took us a hot minute. <laughs> oh, sorry. Like we got two. We got more coming. <laughs> Okay, so we have more coming. Okay, here's two songs. Oh, you're Thank so you. great. I'm, I, 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 you're, you're I there. need to look at the screen here. I will. Okay, I'm look here. I need to write Mr. Bucks. Figure it out. Figure it out. Look at him. Who's yeah, it okay. 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 He was able to get rid of the whole background. Oh, and was that what it was? Yes, yeah, it was the background that wasn't oh, like that. Yeah, okay. yeah, I just okay. needed to do feel like it. Do you feel like it? Would it be helpful to look at it? Like, did this whole thing. Have you ever seen this? Budget for. I mean, it does feel like with the. Graphs, it's a little harder to. Did it go? Yeah, I mean, yeah. We don't need the way we used to look at it where it made no sense, but at least to see the line yeah. items. Unless you do right. Oh, okay. Like yeah. Individual percentages of line item increases. Yeah. Do we have that? I don't know if we have. There is. Oh, that's the is it, one. Is it possible to like look at the spreadsheet up on the screen just to because it, it can be helpful to kind of go down and look at the line item changes and percentages. Did Ed make a the like like a summary one? You're talking no. about this one. Uh, yeah, likely. 
Well, the graphs are they're helpful. Comparative. comparative. Yeah. Sorry, Lindsay, this is your first time. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> See, that's where. Yeah. And you can, yeah you honestly, can. the way we think about this is different every year. Because I'll just share it. Thank you. So much. Nice. Thank you. Share. What I'll do, Sarah and the board, I will share out a spreadsheet. I'll share all that out with you now. Okay. Well, and, and when we start to discuss things, maybe we can put it up on the screen, but let's go through this first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll let you guys go through your presentation when you're ready, and then we'll. So that's. Red sheet is now shared to all of you if you want to look at that too. Okay, thank you. Great. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to just sneak with you too. You can totally look on, but yeah, so. Because then you can see, like, okay, that yeah. one that you're increased. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. On the spreadsheet, Sarah. Yeah. I'm on the spreadsheet. Yeah. Go to okay. the last tab. Yeah. The, the board function on one. Yep. There you go. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where was it shared? Is it in my email? Yes, Colleen. All right, so the goal of the budget is to align our strategic plan, continuous improvement plan, and the education quality standards. So that's that's the goal of the budget. And I just wanted to specifically go over the three goals that are within the strategic plan. The first is student success and engagement. And some of the things that we do below to try to help achieve that goal. We use Leader and Me to help grow leaders in the building. Um, this year we've been trying to do a lot of unpacking standards work within our teachers so they understand what the standard is asking the students to do. We felt that that was something that was really, really important for teachers. Um, the, our comprehensive assessment plan, that we are continuing the development of the middle level model, which for RSU specifically grade six through eight. Our interdiscipl interdisciplinary approach to teaching and learning, we try to utilize student-driven learning as much as we possibly can, and our universal design for learning implementation. So that helps us hit that first goal. The second goal, culture and student wellness. Um, we have a student council and a lighthouse team. The diversity and equity work that's really, not it's not only happening here in Heartland, but within the whole SU. The restorative practices work that we do, and for us in Heartland, it's specifically trauma-informed schools, and we use collaborative problem-solving approach to help students when they're struggling with behavioral situations. Our multi-tiered system of supports, which within the whole SU is a really well-designed approach that we use, and it's the same throughout all of the schools in the SU, which has been really nice because I think in other principal meetings, especially last year that I was a part of, there are a lot of schools throughout the state that are really struggling with trying to put an MTSS system in place, and it's the system that we have in the SU is a really, really wonderful one. We have an SU-wide health and um, health and wellness team that meets. I think it's once a month that they meet. Yep, once a month. And in our building, the mental health services that we have, we are blessed to have two school counselors, a clinician. We are hope that we have a, a contract with half time and we use Panorama to help collect some of that data. And our school schedule is helpful in that it allows for teachers to have time to meet with each other and collaborate, which has been really helpful in keeping everyone on the same page. And the third goal, Information and communication, so ways that we try to engage the community is through the Wildcat Week newsletter, website and social media, community dinners and events. Uh, this year we started the Heartland Heart Awards where we specifically, we celebrate a portion of kids and then within that larger portion there's a smaller subset of kids that we, teachers really specifically nominate for certain and Heart stands for, um, oh gosh, hardworking, empathy, Accountability, thank you. RNT, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. 
trustworthy and are responsive. 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 Um, where teachers nominate specific students nominate. that really, I think, Michael, <laughs> that demonstrate those qualities and we celebrate them um, with a write up from their teacher, some breakfast that we invite families to, and it's just, it's a nice way to celebrate the really hard work that all of our students are doing. And uh, lots of PTO events. We're really excited about the holiday market that's coming up, and you know they're really trying to rebuild that group, which is great. And the next slide. This is from Larry's report from the most recent SU, or the was it in October that they, they he went over that? They adopted it in November. November. Yeah. From Larry's presentation, so this just talks about how much of our Heartland school district budget goes directly to the SU for the assessment. So that the purple is the local, the red, which is the next largest chunk, is special education, and then there's administration operations, early childhood, and food services. So those are the parts that go towards the SU. It's based on equalized people, except for food service. That is divvied up by students in the building. Right. So 75 or 70% is our local budget to run the building, Heartland. And then 27% goes to the SU to do everything else. I'm just summarizing that graph. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The next slide is wages. So we've um, got. Before oh. we step through that, yep. um, we talked about aligning with the education quality standards. Remind me, have those changed yet? They are under, uh, they've been revised. They have. And they have not been adopted by the legislature yet, but the hope is that um, that will happen in January or February. So that's kind of hard to design a budget around something that's not adopted yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I mean, I do you anticipate that they will be adopted. There's a, there's a focus on um, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Okay. And, and I could share the draft standards with you if you're Yeah, interested. that would be really helpful. Okay. Um, also because we should yeah, keep that in mind and um, we have to present it because we do try to align. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And is there more about mental health in there or? Uh, I can't okay. remember off the top of my head. Okay. But I will. I'll, I'll share with you. Okay. Do you know if they're budgeting food services just like in that it will be universal again at the state level? Yeah. I don't think we it's know in the legislature. Yet. It's going to. I know, but I'm just saying. Are, how are we budgeting it though? Are oh. you saying yes, it'll be universal, and we're going to budget in that fashion? I don't think so. I don't know. But I think actually. we did budget. Ooh, yes, Colleen. <laughs> I don't Our SU budget guru. Um, how did we do food service in the SU budget? Did we? It's included in the SU budget, right? Yeah. It is. Yes. Did we plan for free uh, lunch for all students, Colleen? I don't know. Did we plan for to feed everybody? Yes. In our local, in our SU budget, right now it's being subsidized by the, yeah, by the state. I'm just thinking if it goes to, if it ends up being, but families have to pay again, right? Then the budget will probably be different. Like it'll just be less. It's my guess, or less income. All right. Um, I'm going to text Larry in just a second. Okay. It's not better. And check. Yeah, I don't remember. Sorry, guys. Larry, uh, out, of, out of dinner. No, I, I. I remember it looked normal it from did. the standpoint of us running a normal program. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. So I think it assumed that it was not yeah. going to be universal. Okay. The other thing to think yes. about, and I don't know where our SU's at, is that there's a local food incentive. And so if you can get up to 15% of your purchasing local, then you can get 15 cents a plate back. Like in, in, oh wow! Then, so if you get up, and then if you get up to twenty-five percent local buying, you can get twenty-five cents a plate on. So I don't know where that. Like, so if you're close to those numbers, then it's worth like that turns into real money like pretty quickly. Mm. Okay, uh, that's awesome. 
Yeah, I see. Okay. Craig. I have no idea. Those things. Yeah. I haven't talked to Craig in a long time. I know. I know. know. I know. <laughs> Miss Craig. We're so out. Miss Craig. Miss Craig. Miss Craig. We need to hang out. Um, okay. So I think I completely derailed you. That's but okay. if, if Craig is like, if he goes like cross-eyed when you mention that to him, like I'm happy that we can chat about. It. So for the next slides, what we have is the FY22 budget, FY22 actual, FY23 budget, and then the FY24 budget. So through the rest of these, that's it's the same order each time. So for wages for FY24, 2734692 and those are um, contractual um, increases. What that does include, um, so the board is aware, that does include the same amount of staff that we currently have. So what I mean by that is right now we have two, um, we're budgeted for two teachers within fifth grade for that smaller cohort of kids. That includes currently within this budget two sixth grade teachers for that smaller cohort of kids for next year. Okay. So that is included within this. Okay. And yeah, sorry. Thank you. That's all right. And that's what you're recommending that we can. Yes. And the benefits for those same positions is one million two hundred seven thousand eight hundred seventy-five. So up slightly from what was projected for this year. Christine. Yep. And the contractual services that we have for FY24, we're projecting 125,679. And within that category falls some things maintenance related, JP pest services, those things that we contract out maintenance related falls under this. Anything legal that we have that con um, we contract out with falls under this. Coaches and refs falls under this as well as our um, athletic director's salary falls under this. Um, category. So what's the 20,000 increase? Some of that is the salary for the athletic director, some maintenance. It's a little bit of her it's a, Yeah, it's, it's okay. little bits of, okay. of things. And that's really the, something that I've noticed as, as a, a, it's a little, <laughs> yeah, everything is, has gone up bits and pieces here and there. Maintenance and repair is very similar to under than what we had budgeted for last year, 131,211. And in this maintenance and repair section is where Ed put the Black River Design money, okay. as well as the $10,000 for the 17 acre woods that we were going to match okay. with the town. So those two things are followed in there as well. And is there carpet in there too? Yes. Let me double check. It is somewhere, but I just need to remember check where and put it. Yep. This is. It might not be in this one. It might be in the section sort. Yeah. That's a big I know, Jack. Obviously, it's going to be the costs. Look at how you know, the actual. be sure. Do you want me, Nikki, to ask him? I think that's where the flooring falls under, but do you want me to come back to you in January after I ask Ed? I think that's where it is, though. Okay. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay. Um, I'll just put a question in there. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll just add myself in real quick so I don't forget to ask him. Okay. Transportation is 24,000. A large amount of the transportation was moved to the SU. So this 24,000 in transportation is winter activities, sports, and food. Are we doing less or do we understand better? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Especially with this. Wait, so the skiing bus is in is in at the FY23 budget the, the ski bus is budget. in that 325 yes and it's, and it's also in the 20 
keeping it in the trunk. Correct. Jet. Correct. Do you have the algebra bus in there? That might be the difference. Mm, yes. Oh, so the algebra oh. bus moved to the SU. Moved to the SU. No, it, oh. did, it did not. It did not. Are you sure me it did? That. I think Ed told me it did move to the SU. Does it have enough yeah, I think he said it to me that it did move to the SU, but yeah, it's at the discretion of the person. Yeah, he specifically said winter activities, sports, and field trips. When I asked him which, what okay. fell under that twenty-four thousand, okay. just make sure it's in there somewhere. I'll just confirm that it's. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we're not. We haven't gotten rid of a bus route or anything nope. like that. No. Nope. All stays so. the same. Right, but all those kids go and stuff. That seems the receiving school can say no, that's we're not taking a middle school credit for our high school course. That's why we're talking about why algebra is open. Yeah, it's I at high know. school because they are granted a high school credit and it has to be in the building. We're not sure, um, Alec and Nicole are getting a credit if they. If they didn't, you should let me know because we've run into this before, but they okay. they should have an algebra credit. It has to be taught by a high school certified math teacher in a high school. Sure. sure. It has to be in the high school. Well, we've had this conversation we've had this many times. I'm certified yeah. ninth grade, but I'm not working in the high school. You're not so physically in the high school. So the difference in Woodstock is, is that, one, they may not get a credit for it, but they would get that's what still, we've been told have all the credits yeah we didn't anyway. care we so didn't really care about the credit it's just they don't have to redo algebra exactly. in high school which then right. means that they can still do calculus in high school exactly. so right. by the time everything's said now they'll still be able to advance where they need to go it's the placement mm -hmm. that matters more than the credit in in i think though in high school for a lot of people right. okay. Right. Right. if you want to the credit so i just feel like schlepping kids from here to there they get dropped off in the morning. Yep. They yeah. can catch the high school bus that's already running, so the morning's pretty pretty easy. Yep. Um, after the class is over, they there's a it actually works pretty well. We've got the TK program, so the buses are just going. Yep. And, and then <laughs> they just, so just going. The kids just jump. Um, that's where the bus is going in yeah. the morning. That makes sense. So okay. we're busing transitional K students here from other locations and then bringing um, the high schoolers, uh, middle, and high school, middle schoolers taking high school algebra to the back of that, using the same drivers, yeah. Yeah. typically. I think it's yeah. one. It's, it's one. It's yeah. Just, yeah. I have to say, it, it actually, like, I was very, I was a little skeptical, I have really to say. Skeptical. I was just like, how, because we're, on the, we're way on the other end of town, and I was like, how, is, how am I going to, but you know what? It, wor it, it all worked, <laughs> and it was fine, and it was a great experience. It's been a great experience. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm a I'm a fan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Harlan fills that class. Yeah, much. we have a large portion. Yeah. Like Seventeen kids. kids. Yeah. 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 Sixteen. Yeah, I know. Way to go, Mr. Bots. I know. That's great. <laughs> Seriously. Yep. Yeah. That's great. launched them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so we still don't know where the algebra bus is, but we think it's in the SU budget. I that is what Ed mentioned, but I, just, I will confirm that for okay. January. I've got it in my notes to confirm, but I know for sure this twenty four thousand covers winter activities, sports, and field trips. Good. Okay. You can head to the next one, Christine. And supplies is up to one hundred twenty two five fifty, uh, and that I mean our FY twenty two actual was one hundred seven seven hundred two. Okay. And it's. It's tough. The cost of lots of things are up, um, and so our projected so that we're budgeting is 122,550, and that supplies for anything. That's that was based on actual kind of requests, right? Like yeah, yeah, yep. And energy is the next slide, which is up significant. I mean, relatively yeah. significantly as well. Um, 154,879 is what we're budgeting. Mm -hmm. And from where Ed sits, it's just lots of it, that fall. Anything energy related, electricity, 
all of those things all is up. it's all, all up, up. Yeah. which is and our soul tracker doesn't help more than that yeah. it helps but not that much yeah 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 so it's oh, that's it's tricky like number. yeah okay. yep is there anything that's like in here that is could be more cost effective in specific are you thinking about one specifically or overall just just in something in energy like is there something that's costing us a lot of money energy like are we paying a lot of money to heat the building is there a more cost effective way that we could think about heating building is there like is there anything that is costing a lot of money that we could you know somehow be slightly more cost effective, aka energy efficient. I think I wonder. Um, a part of what they're doing next week on the 12th and 13th is an energy audit, and so yeah. that might give us some information that we could come back to in January and what they're. But like, we did an energy are. audit. Like How long ago? Sealed in this room. 18. Like, 28. Yeah. Do 20 teachers 20 have like wild, that. you and know, things that heaters that keep turning on and don't turn off ever, and like wasting it's energy? All, like it's all automated. It's yeah. yeah. Do they don't control it. Since there are lights in the rooms, that might mm -hmm. be. That might be the only thing. Oh, I have the. the if I stand still, still my lights just go off all the time. Yeah, they're on the flight. Yeah, yeah. Working, the lights shut off. We just, just yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, we did an energy audit in 2018, like a really extensive yeah. switch and light bulbs. Yeah, we did all of that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we switched them all out. Yeah, I feel pretty comfortable that we've done what we can with the building that we have Got to it. make it as efficient as we can. But we might learn more. Right, we, we may you know, learn when more. They come back with next week, yeah. we might and technology more. may have improved. But we really did a lot, um, and we also uh, we get some of our electricity from the um, dam, hydro. the Heartland Hydro. Yeah. Um, right on Route Five, you know that little. Yep. Yeah. So that's where our, some of our electricity comes from, okay. and we've got the solar. Um, so, are we sort of in line? Um, with the other schools in the SU in terms of our energy costs. I'm just curious if, you know, the buildings are not exactly the same size, but but roughly, would you? Well, they're still putting together their budgets. You're the first. Got it. Um, okay. You're the first round. Yeah. So they go next week, so they are still yeah. in progress. So yeah. <laughs> and that would be an interesting thing just to, as you're looking at all can, of them, just I, to kind of pay attention yeah. to, you know? Square footage. Yeah. 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 Just our, I mean, Weathersfield is quite new. Will be the, right. It's the most similar in size, though. Right. Yeah. And Windsor's much bigger. It's multiple floors. Right. Right. Yeah. So Weathersfield would be a good indicator. Yeah. 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 I mean, their building is it's much new. newer, mm -hmm. so that would be interesting to see. If, it would be interesting yeah. to see if all of our little energy improvements yeah. helped. Yeah. Or if it's still nowhere near having a new building. <laughs> I'll see if I'll see if I can get it. Ask Brian, but um, just tell me when you want to hear Larry's response about the food service. Oh, oh God! I told you didn't have to text me. I got a picture of him like he's trying to eat his own dinner. We can hear Larry's response. Now we're all we, suspense. We followed the FY23 AOE revenue recommendations for FY24, so we know if the state decided not to fund it, uh, it then our 24 revenues would be short. Okay. So, So, so we'd be more, kinda, hold on. We'd be scrambling. If the state decided to not find it after two years of free lunch for all students, the SU board could decide at that time what to do. To yeah, charge, and you can always say right, just fund it. Right, to charge paid and reduced students or to make up the revenue difference. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Okay. And I don't think, too, if, like, if you're at 30 whatever percent, like to try to do universal, like the right. community eligibility option and things like that. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, it's okay. Thank you, Larry. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you. Next real quick. is equipment, and that's seventy-one ninety-nine is for the two soccer goals at the rec. Okay. And then um, we pay for it at the rec because it's our seven eighteen that's there. Right. Yeah. And that so that's just that's just those two goals. That's all. What did we cover this year? What was the eight thousand? Yeah. That's this year's budget. Yes. Right. So what? Probably it? new uniforms. I mean, they're on the list. Yeah. I, I, I do, do. We have not spent that eighty-one twenty-five completely to date. 
but some of it was new uniforms, yeah. equipment. Equipment. I know that they just ordered a bunch of new basketballs, things like that. But the the seventy one ninety nine is specifically um, for the two goals. Okay. Next is dues and fees, and within that 16270 falls dues and fees to the Rob Principals Association, PD. Um, there are certain types of PDs where the dues and fees that comes out of there, and there are certain dues and fees associated with athletics, so the, those types of things get pulled from that 16270. And if those go on up, or is that a different budget category than before? I feel like we're doing things that different. Versus the FY22 actual? Yeah. Or budget. Or <laughs> it's a big difference. I don't know if something moved from FY22 into this dues and fees category that maybe was previously somewhere else. That's what it now looks like. That's, it yeah, looks like that. that's yeah. probably the case. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Can I ask a question? Where, so right now we're piloting the new math program, right? Right. Yep. Where, where is that's at the SU level. That's at the yep. SU level. level. Okay. Yes. Cool. So that's in assessment. Assessment, next. which is yep. that's <laughs> your, next. Yep. Yep. Okay. So but we don't like Heartland budget is not paying for that. It's not. Okay. Um, the SU budget, and since curriculum is coordinated, yep. um, it should be there now. That's been a shift, and so we're slowly trying to pull out. Um, expenses related to curriculum out of local budgets because it hasn't always been that way okay and so um angie budgeted for the new eureka squared if it passes the pilot yes yeah. mm -hmm. if not hopefully it'll be something else that you know costs about the same because she budgeted for that um she's piloting a new and she'll probably tell I, I said this at the su board meeting um there's some title carryover money and our teachers are begging, I don't know if that's the right word, yeah, that's for an ELA problem. curriculum. Yeah. Um, and so we're gonna use some of that money to pilot some ELA programs this year, which we hope to be able to use next year. Got it. But that shouldn't come out of local funds, although there are some still, like some maybe math manipulatives that come out of the sure. local okay. budgets. We're trying to move it all. But when you're increasing budgets, you know, okay. you're fiscally responsible. Yeah. And the next is the assessments that we give to the SU. So two million five hundred six ninety is for those assessments. So that would be some of those things that Christine talked about. Anything SU special ed? Yep, yeah, special ed. Transportation, special ed, special curriculum, ed. food special service, ed. Or early childhood. Yep. Yeah. Special and if you go to the next slide, breaks it down for Heartland specifically and, and how much goes oops, into this. Oh, no, I skipped a slide. Sorry. Two yeah. slides from now. Oh, oh, yeah. Total oh, expenditures, so then it goes and, into the. And assessment. actually, Heather, an important thing, you may already understand this, but like, this was a really important thing for me to understand about the assessments that the SU divides up everybody's responsibility for all of their costs based on equalized pupil. Yep. So that's how that's getting spread out. Except food service. Except food service, <laughs> right. right, which is number of students in the building. Right. right. Yep. And the total expenditures that we are budgeting for next year, FY24, 10,109,276. Okay. So do we know what the percentage of that is? 5.51 percent increase. And this includes the things on that list that we talked about, um, all of those additional it expenditures. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay. Oh, and then there's the SU. There's one last slide. The back to the assessments, and it go. It looks at. Um, 2023, 2024, the percentage, the amount, and then the percentage. So $253,703 is that the increase of the assessments. So that out of the 527,927 is the part of those assessments is a part of that increase. Uh, I'm going to be honest, a 5% increase this year seems 
I was expecting so much worse. Yeah. No, <laughs> okay. right. Not. It feels very reasonable. It, it feels reasonable if only that there was, again, like if we're expecting this cliff year to come up, that if there's anything that we can sort of save now to not make that cliff so awful, um, it might be worth considering. Staffing is really the only place yeah. that we can. That's, yeah. 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 Do you have the? Is it in your? Was it in your principal's report where the the numbers that we're adding? Yeah. I can pull that up. Yeah, that would be handy. I just want to revisit those as a score now that we know the whole picture. Mm -hmm. The only that things we're missing. Yeah. 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 I know, these are the yeah. things that we control besides staff. This is what we yeah. control. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this, this assumes that everything stays the same as this year. Yep. Plus this. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So. No, no, this looks crazy. Um, the tuition increase didn't look too bad. Um, I mean, it was up a little bit, but do we have um, do we have a sense of sort of you know coming coming Not years? Quite. Or Usually around February, we try to get eighth graders' perspective of like where do you think you might go without necessarily yeah. committing to somewhere. That's typically what we've done in the past. And that gives us a sense. And is that a fixed cost per kid? Yeah. yeah. Well, based on the school on the that they're choosing. The school that they're yeah. choosing. Yeah. Yeah. And do we have any jurisdiction, I don't feel like is the right word, at any point to say that like schools that are charging significant amount of money, um, that like we would not, that like the school would not cover all of it? No, no, no. No, we, no. And we wouldn't want to do that because then it would mean that only families with means could send their kids right. to those schools. Yeah. The, and and for sense. example, like Hanover is one of the ones that charges the most. Yeah. But it actually turns out that Hanover is cheaper when you account for special education. And Woodstock is the highest <laughs> when you account for special education. So Hanover doesn't actually, I think this is still the case, they don't build back additional. Costs. Woodstock does. Yeah, yeah Woodstock builds back like a massive In fee. Thetford has, I know there have been some like huge bills from Thetford yeah. for special education. Yeah, I think did Woodstock had like a like a, a flat fee if this kid even had an IEP that was astronomical. Um, so to me, it doesn't make sense to cut off based on tuition because it's not the real number. <laughs> so. Well, and yeah. sort of the, the principle of it, too, I think that, that, you know, there there are towns that made that decision to, you know, we'll give you, we'll give every family right. a certain amount of money, dollars, and yeah. then you, if you want to go somewhere else, you pay extra. And, but a cent, you know, for, for a family that, you know, $3,000 might as well be $20,000 right. if you don't have the $3,000. And so it was a really important principle that those options of those public schools we're open to all of our kids. Yeah. It's any school, any school that's approved by right. the state. Yeah. Any public school or independent. An independent school, you'll get the state rate. State average. Towards that. And yeah. kids who want to go to KUA, state, 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 state average. average. And even though we send kids like to Hanover, which is in New Hampshire, that's yeah. still. New Hampshire is the first interstate school district in the country. It's Norwich, kids go there. Oh, Rivendell was. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rivendell was first. No, 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 Dresden, no, 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 no. Dresden was in the 60s. Dresden yeah. was under yeah. the well, Kennedy mine. administration. But you can send kids can go to Orford. Yeah. They, yeah. they can yeah. go to Sunapee. Yeah. They can yeah. go. Well, kids can go to Lebanon. Yep. It's just Lebanon. a public school. Yeah. 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 It's. Does it matter? It's very strange. And it's because there are special rules for towns that are on. Or no, maybe it was because we're not a border town. So we are. Oh yeah. We. 
the Connecticut River. Could not be more. New Hampshire. Wait, we are a border. We could not be closer to the border. Doesn't Hartford hold us on one side? No, the Connecticut. We're on the Connecticut. The Connecticut is New Hampshire. Apparently, I need a little geography. If you go down to the river, you know when you go to West Lebanon. Yeah. Don't you go? Don't you go right through? Welcome to New Hampshire. Windsor goes like Windsor's right next to it. If you were to drive to New Hampshire, you go through other towns. Yes. Yeah. If you were to walk to New Hampshire from here, you would go straight into New Hampshire. Okay, just, I need, I need to, you have to, like, you have to There used to be across. ferries that yeah. went across. <laughs> yeah, there were ferries in Heartland that went to New Hampshire. Okay. <laughs> At Sumner Falls. When you go to Sumner Falls, you're in New Hampshire. Okay, I don't know where that is, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to just what? You I need. It's okay. So I know. It's okay. I know. I'm just floored. Summer Falls is really cool. You have to go check it out. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You There's a right board retreat. Very summer. summer. Board retreat. Board retreat. Board retreat. <laughs> it is really and strange. The, that, like, and you know, and, the, and there are implications now that there weren't yeah, before just because feels, of the su Supreme Court case. Yeah. And, yeah. So it just um, makes me sad that we can like send. We're calling. You know, they get this good Vermont education here, and then we, you know, like. Here in New Hampshire, you can have some, you know, some of our students. I just feel sad about it. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just get over it. <laughs> we're just enriching. Yeah, we're 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 helping. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Heather, I have to tell you that yep. some New Hampshire towns that have choice send kids to Vermont. Yes, yes, yeah. it goes both ways. So it goes both ways. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I, have, yep. I haven't met a New Hampshire kid yet. So. Oh, there's yeah, very Cornish nice. kids go to um, Windsor. Windsor. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Hartford, Windsor, they, they do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Does the, do you all have any thoughts or things you'd like me to consider for the next time that we talk about it next month? Um, I know, and I've heard that the soccer goals need to be replaced. Are the soccer goals going to fall down? Like <laughs> the description that I got was they were pretty um, in rough shape. Yeah. Are they, are they over at the work center? Correct. Yeah, they're at the library. The library. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like in the realm of like, you know, I know it's seventy-two hundred dollars. Like, mm -hmm. this is what we have control of. I know. Yeah, it's I like know. crazy when you get like, yeah. like people. it's like nickel and dime on that one. Yeah. It is. It's nickel yeah. and diming. Um, no, I mean the biggest thing we have is staffing. The is biggest the, thing we have is yeah. staffing. Um, we don't want to touch that. Yeah. Yes. And, and the the question of the the sixth grade bubble that will become a seventh grade bubble is is hanging out there, and the you know the staffing questions around that. Um, so just that's the just yeah. to have it have it on every keep it on everybody's radar screen. I guess is the so that Heather, I don't know if you were here, but the five sixteen min you were yep. came last year, last year presented yeah. Yeah. their yeah. their plan for two. That was a two year plan. Yeah. yeah. Next year They're the current, second. The small sure. grade's currently fifth grade. Current fifth yeah. grade. They'll move to sixth grade next year. But they, but there's, they've got another plan. Have they had like another plan in place to try to work through this? Because there was an initial plan. They currently there are um, two. There's one cohort of kids. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And, and the plan was a, a, a model where one of the teachers is the teacher and one is the interventionist. Yeah. And that plan carries forward to next year uh, as presented. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then those kids will be in middle school, so there will be there will be well, some there will be some readjustment necessary. Some, yeah. There could be some readjustment um, to the middle level. They'll have one sixth grade. Yep. Some opportunity there. Yep. And those are discussions that you know Michael and I and Alina have started to have, but still at the very beginning stages yeah. of what that might look like moving forward. But you you will have to reduce two positions the following year because two of the positions are ESSER funded. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. So if there's something that you want to see, you know, that I could present to you that would look different than this for next month, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, I mean, I would like to see it with the one less sixth grade position. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hate saying that those words make me twitch saying that, but if it means losing one position this year and one position next the following year, is that less painful? I don't know. It's all painful. Of course, the tax.
tax rates are a big until we know more about the tax rates it's really hard to you know 5.5 percent increase doesn't sound too bad but yeah. did they release heartless tax rate the last i spoke to ed the end of last week he did he did not have them yet you may have, does he have the cla he did no, not when i spoke to him no you're right he didn't have the cla I think that um, I'm hearing from other towns in our SU that they are pushing their legislatures, I think, for a reassessment. I don't know when uh, Heartland was assessed. I think I heard that Heartland was looking. Heartland was just assessed. We were just, we were just, just assessed. assessed. Just right there, there, yeah, that there was a string band. So you might not be able to be. Yeah, I mean, it was just literally, I think, 19 well, or 19. Well, we're still, no, I talked to Stacy about it. Um, okay. We're still out of whack. Our Isn't CLA is out of whack. There's a the discrepancy. Yeah. yeah. House, right the house prices were. Yeah. There's a they there's a certain gone, percentage yes. threshold that you don't want your CLA to pass, and yeah. we've passed that. So we our assessments are out of whack with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't know if they did this, and now we're back in. Whack. <laughs> No, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we refinanced our house and our house was assessed for bad at the difference oh, yeah. when it was assessed for this. Yeah, I think I told you guys, we refinanced our house and the bank was like, no, your assessment's too low. We're not even going to bother doing an appraisal. <laughs> they were just like, go ahead, go, go for it, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> if it's still standing, it's worth way more than what you just put down. <laughs> um, Okay. Lindsay, I'm just wondering, like, is there anything you can relook at in your, like, asset? Because, uh, like, your assessments pile of money is <laughs> significant. The assessment is the SU budget. You cannot change You can't change point. anything in there. No. Nothing. No, because that's the SU. Okay. And that's been voted on and approved. Okay. <laughs> and it was only, so the big changes in the assessment is on um, special education. Which is based on each student's individual plan yeah. mm -hmm. and wages and benefits that are contracted, okay. and that's like the, the support staff contract had a considerable increase yeah. um, to keep them on board, yeah. which they should. deserved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. So but. there really isn't anywhere. I mean, there really wasn't any wiggle room in there either. Yeah, I know. Yeah, is there like any wiggle room? Yes. Yeah. There was some wiggle room somewhere. No wiggle room. Can I make an observation? Or yeah. just sort of one thing that I struggle with is that our per the purchasing when we purchase things that I understand we have to go through the system in the state, but years before we would get money to go to Walmart and buy ten cent notebooks. Now we have to go to Amazon and buy the three dollar notebooks. So as a right. taxpayer, mm -hmm. yeah. I really am conscious of that, and that that's a huge difference. And I it don't is. know if that. When we look at supplies, if that is part of that problem, mm -hmm. hmm. it could be. Like I know over the summer, you know, on Prime Day, for example, there were teachers that saw what the price was on Prime Day, put the order in on their end, and then by the time the whole oh, system right. got to me, is not within that same business day to, right. to it be takes able three to order weeks, it. Right. right. It takes three weeks to get something. Where if you're doing a unit. Right. right. No, I hear you. I, I, I mean, struggle with the same thing in my school. Yeah. And I know we can, we don't control it, but you know, there's something that you could do to save the state. This is not working, and it's costing us money where we can save mm -hmm. a lot of money. Just putting it out there. Yeah. 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 Well, there's also, I mean, is there ways to put like um, contracts in ahead of time? I'm just picturing like, because I know myself, I struggle with like, I need cooking supplies and food and things like that all the time. And, I was spending way too much of my own money doing those things because it's just like I just need it. I'm not going to buy right. apples we, three weeks in advance. We still do, it, but we don't get reimbursed. Yeah, right. exactly. And so, if there's ways to have contracts with businesses to be able to have a teacher be able to go in and say, I can buy those 10 cent notebooks or I can buy whatever. And I don't know, even if it's Walmart, it's more money staying within this area, you know, it's paying at least somebody's salary to work at Walmart versus, yeah, yeah, yeah. In versus Amazon. We've tried. And Tina Beth is out there, and I, I just Googled a few things, but if we come back in January with a good concept for an IDL for the soccer goals, and like probably less than half of that, you can build those out of metal. 
Really? Yeah. Um, you've been Googling it. Yeah. It doesn't look that hard. I've made do you have it to weld? Right at home. Do you have to do some welding? Well, John knows how to weld. John Sam yeah, knows how to weld. He does. So and Sam knows how to do There's, out there's out. legit ones that they do themselves. And well, then, I mean, could we make connections too with like the and tech center and things like that? Else, you know? could allow those do they kids have to be the like on stuff? That's a question, Michael. Maybe you and I can look into this. Like, and maybe it's not as. Um, I would imagine at a high school level there might be a lot more stricter regulations. Maybe a middle level but doesn't here, have as like, many. Yeah. At the rest. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's it's like the rest yeah, but the program is it's, it's it's middle school, it's but it's middle school. Yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah, for a competition. Yeah. But I think it's worth looking it's worth into. I mean, if we're working. looking at these are the only things that we are in control of. I know. <laughs> Can you guys make some like new uh, tiles for the floor? Can you work on the floor? Teach the kids to manufacture. Yes. They're going to start looking at labor laws. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> We're going to school building little free libraries. And and we did the um, middle school project. One of the schools, the principal was like, we kind of got trolled because all we did was projects. They made like uh, a ninja or a junior ninja course or American ninja course. That's all they did the whole year were uh, just hands on building things. Yeah. And so he's like, Sounds we good. literally rebuilt stuff. We rebuilt uh, areas at our, at our school. And then they're like, well, where are your assessments? And they're like, oh, yeah, we didn't do that. But they learned everything they needed to. And then at the end of the year, they assessed just as well as any other school. Yeah. And so they're like, no, they just did everything that was hands on. Yeah. So cool. there are schools that do that where they're like, we need this done. Let's sit down and work through how do we do it and give them that hands on knowledge. That's what we're doing in our school for at least one block a day for our sixth grade yeah. team. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. uh, it's like if there's laying carpet, uh, there's several eighth graders that already do that on the weekends that for once in their lives could be like, I can shine because I know how to do this. I know how to do this. It's I even better you. when the kids come up with the projects. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and yeah. Recognize yeah. the project. But the 17-acre wood 10, like, is in that 17-acre wood, like, making of the actual trails, I imagine there's going to be a lot of community and possible kid involvement. I hope so. There's yeah. a lot of restrictions in terms of, you know, insurance and yes. contractors have to be licensed and insured and if you're using volunteers, that's what just another layer. Um, but you could take out the path. 10, you could take that's the 10 out and get take it out of Capital Reserve. reserve. I mean, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. We could take the 10 out of the reserve. So take it yeah. out of there. Yeah. Right. Would you want to see what that looks like? Yeah. I can include that. That's <laughs> I mean, it's small potatoes. It's small. So, yeah. It's well, small. Honestly, I think, sure I think, okay. I think you should run numbers that take, so here's what's going to happen is we're going to get the numbers from Ed with our CLA and the state, um, what the they're old. willing to pay. Projected yeah. tax rate. Yeah. And then we're going to be trying to get to a cent increase on a thousand dollar house. Right. Yeah. And so at that point, we need to be able to run different scenarios. And so what you could do is instead of looking at individual things, we could say, what if we took ten thousand out? What if we took? Yeah. yeah, just a flat ten thousand, regardless of the area in which it comes from. Yeah, and saying? then we'll be able to kind of like negotiate on the fly the, yeah. to know what different. And you can ask Ed like what the different threshold should be, mm -hmm. um, like I don't know, ten, twenty-five, fifty, eighty, hundred. Yeah. 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 But I mean, realistically. Anything over, I mean, it's going to be a staff member. Anything over, yeah, anything over 20 is a staff member. Right, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. there just isn't a lot of Because we're not going to be able to cut 50 budget. that isn't. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, but just to have that understanding of how those different numbers impact. And he's previously done that. Yeah, he's very yeah. that. So, yeah, Ed and I will come with that in January. So 10, 25, 50, and then 100. Yeah, or if he has a better, or yeah, I'll ask him because he'll know when he's and when he sees the numbers, he'll kind of know. Can you tell us how much is a penny on the tax rate? Is it thirty thousand? Oh, David, David just brings that. I feel up. like it was fifty. I think it was fifty to yeah. reduce the tax by one cent. You had to cut it's the budget by fifty. Off. I think it's fifty thousand. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, last year, because I remember we all just kind of shrugged and said, well, so if you don't change it, I think it's just... So if you're only going to go down 
numbers, 0.3%. I know, exactly. It's very, it's very small. small. Yeah, right. yeah so, it's all very small. Yeah, so that's where we get into <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Bonds. Yeah. Sure. Um, the other thing that might be helpful to have by the next time we discuss it is just like a sense of looking ahead of, of enrollment. Mm -hmm. um, we could even do that right now because doesn't Heidi have a sheet of all the classrooms in her office? Like we know what the number is. Yeah, it's just yeah. how many are graduating and how many kindergarten. How many are we expecting? Yeah, we're expecting kindergarten next year. Linda will Linda will call the four corners and she'll yeah. But we won't know that. Best. Will we know that by next? She'll know the enrollment in four quarters. So yeah. Four year olds. Yeah. Yeah. We can get we up can to the best. Yeah. Estimate. Anticipate and get the best. And that just in, the time. in the past it feels like that's helped us to kind of. Mm -hmm say, all right, it's there really is a pattern of decline here. Or, right. well, it's going back up. We better, you know. So this year, we had a really good size kindergarten. kindergarten. Yes. That's, that's what yep. I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Give me the, think. the other thing we usually do is um, <clears throat> we need to look at tuition. And Linda will help. She would do this. She would go ask the kids where they thought they were going to go to high school. Yep. And, and you can maybe get a better estimate of the high school cost. Yeah. And not that they're bound to that, no. but you can budget. Yeah. 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 We have 42 kindergartners. That's crazy. That's great. Yeah. I mean, that's so great. Wait, what? No, 40, 42. No, some of those are probably TK. Great. TK. So, that might not be more. That's huge. Well, I pull this and also it pulls TK. And the thing is, like, if we're, if we're going to have another class of 40, 40 20, then that affects how we think about the extra staff person. It does. So it's really, does. I think it is it really, really important to yeah, know yeah, because we've been cutting some of the exactly. Higher need them oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Higher Sorry. Yeah. It's not for so 42 includes TK. I'm not, I guess I didn't realize that it included TK because yeah. I don't know if last year if TK was put like when I look in Power School and click Kindergarten. Oh, TK. It includes so winter. that so sorry that includes yeah. Yeah. some not some, all, some yeah right some yeah, yeah, are yeah. ours but but not all a all. handful are yeah of residents of other towns because that would include the three other towns yeah mm -hmm. for TK for TK okay. yep. So a but a large portion of that 42 are Heartland so residents. Yeah. I think 30. There's probably about 30 or 32 of them because Russell's class is 16, I think. Okay. Yeah. So even yeah. if it's 35 or 36, yeah. that's, that's, that's a good size for me. That's yeah. a healthy kindergarten class. Yeah. See some young families. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Kid families are coming yeah. to We have a couple of babies home. on our road, yeah. which yeah. is really exciting. Yeah. It's Alina. Are you okay? Yeah. She loves me. <laughs> uh, I think I remember that conversation. <laughs> um, okay. Great. So then I'll come, um, Ed and I will put together something that looks like a 10,000, 25, 50, 100. Yeah, it may vary a little bit here and there depending on what works uh, for Ed and I. Current uh, projected enrollment and projected high school cost. Yeah. And so we want to look at high school numbers. Yep. Um, how many are we sending? Yeah. Is what? How many are we sending? sending yeah. How many are we losing? I'm, I'm yeah. sure he's done that in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, um, we all just pretend that they're at the highest rate. That we'll, yeah. I mean, the stuff, like, if we just go through last year's presentation to the town, those are kind of some of the things that we just, we need to start. Gavin. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, Uh, thank you, Lindsay, for this. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of work. It was a lot of work. So much thank you to Ed. Um, and Ed was a huge help. Good. That's Ed. And thank you to Christine for years ago right-sizing the budget. Because <laughs> yeah. now we're at a point where, like, this, yeah. is, this is what makes the school function right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any more is extraneous, any right. less is... Detrimental. <laughs> and it, impact, it impacts what you're trying to do. Yeah. It impacts kids. Yeah. And I feel like. Yeah. Um, there was another thought. Oh. Um, so, uh, for those of you who aren't the board chair, um, <laughs> the board chair has to write a letter to the town um, that says what we're up to. <laughs> it's a little love note. It's a love note. Oh, okay. okay. Um, 
We're really concerned about bells. <laughs> Make sure you put that on there. there. Maybe it should start from the beginning saying ring a ding ding <laughs> from the Heartland School Board. That'll really get somebody hooked in it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so if there's any common threads that you've noticed this year, um, I think I've written too many of these and I don't feel inspired. It's really a report of last year. It yeah. is. Yeah. It's a report of last year. It's a report of last in year. In the middle of this year, which is hard. Which is yeah. Hard. So I last year, if you want to think about last year, you remember last year we so thought we were going to have wreck. a great <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we were coming out of the pandemic. And then, I don't have anything positive to write and about And it was a really year. hard year. It was a really it hard, was hard year. year. So we, yeah. did, we, we stayed open. Yep, we yep. educated our kids. We kept them safe and happy, as happy as we could. Healthy, as healthy as we could. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we made, we, some, progress. And we we made some progress towards our goals. Yeah. And you can think about the presentation we did at the That's community true. forum at the end of the year. And That's a, oh, right. Yeah. I think you should talk we about did a lot that we brought back. Like, we, yeah. we got to have, like, in-person community things. There was a community yeah. barbecue. Like, mm. things, yeah. like, started returning back to normal. That, that was the end. end. That was the, the end. very end of the yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. That's yeah. okay. Sure. But still the there. musical yeah. happened. Uh, yeah. The musical yeah. happened again. Yeah. 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 The musical okay. happened. Yep. Yep. So, there. I mean, do you have that community presentation, Christine? You want the video? Um, it was a member you somehow, of um, Tina. I wonder if video. did you send like yeah. a strategic a list of how we projects the kids oh, right. did? And then know, like I just kids made. Did I have slides? Yes, that I talked to her. Did I just yeah. live for a while? Or that could be for last year's annual uh, town this report. Year you've got it. No, yeah. remember we did the we presented that video. That. And we're excited. Yeah. That, like, Yes, you know, so but there was more. I, mean, I, mean, I talked for like 15 yeah. minutes, I think. Yeah, I must have talked about something. Yes, <laughs> you, I remember there was a lot of emphasis on like here's how the pandemic is affecting kids, and yeah. we need resources to try to make that was less loss. Like that was like forever ago, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. <laughs> is it really December already? <laughs> um, yeah, I have it. I have the alarm. I'm going to share it with you right now. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Because some because somebody decided to put a 22 and a half foot tree in their house. Go big or go home. Looks so it's it's a big tree. That's huge. It's a really huge tree. How do you get it? Well, this is for this is for I guess we're holding the meeting at your house too. I know, we haven't decorated it. We haven't yeah. yet. Who decorated it? Well, we're still working on that. <laughs> Torgan's pretty wide. Oh, that you did that? Uh -huh. oh. It's like it it's reaches project. the ceiling. That's got to be beautiful. You'll have to send us a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have enough lights? No. That's a lot of lights. <laughs> no. no, we need more lights. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, was the, that, that was what we learned this afternoon. Oh, yeah, we need a ladder to see the lights. We have a 24 foot extension ladder, mm -hmm. a 10 foot A frame, and a 6 foot A frame yeah. in I'll the living room right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we have what about a guinea pigs. Do they have oh, room? Yeah. What? Do they have guinea pigs? Have pigs. Have yeah, they're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have um, a rope system. Like no squirrels here climbing. Climbing ropes and pulleys <laughs> and everything because the tree stand can't hold the tree. <laughs> it's a science project. Yeah. Oh, it's it's an engineering project. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> and there's talk of rigging a flight system so that we can put ornaments on it. So <laughs> that's what was designed yesterday. <laughs> Stay tuned. Awesome. If, if my kids come to school and say that they were flying around the living room, that's why there's some truth to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll take pictures. Um, okay, so yeah, if you guys, um, I'll run the. Christine asked for the letter to be done by the end of December. Mm -hmm. I'm up um, early. <laughs> <laughs> the town asked for it to be done three months ago. I don't know. Um, <laughs> happy to happy yeah. help. Yeah. Happy to, yeah. 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 to write it. If that's so, helpful. Yeah. So the way. Can you yeah, do no. a mysterious twist? <laughs> sure. <laughs> With the bells. <laughs> Some missing <laughs> line <laughs> items in the budget. Right. Where did they get? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the bells. Right. Yeah. The bells. Yeah. Okay. I did share that. Direction? Sarah, do you want me to share the presentation with you as well if you're helping to write? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that would be helpful. Okay. Did I actually, like, I had slides. How do I have you no memory You had slides because you took some of the 
annual budget presentation slides oh. and wove them in. I'm just looking at it now. That's how I'm remembering. Yeah. Yeah, the MTSS slides. With oh, them. right, right, right. So you've got, I just shared it with you. Okay, okay, yeah. So it sounds like the, okay. Um, Maybe that's your report. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So I don't think we need an executive session today, do we? No. Okay. Um, and so we need to set the next agenda. So we have a potential discussion of a short community survey um, that includes um, the, the name change and some other some other things that we need to remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so because I wrote bells underneath that, um, I think that was for a bell update, but. No. We're not having a survey about bells. No. <laughs> but that's why I was staring at everybody like that all the time. Are we going to have, oh, okay. have a discussion about soccer goals? Um, oh, that was, a, uh, sorry, this is off topic. But soccer is in the fall. So, so it's got to be oh. done. So if we do if we do a soccer project, spring might be, spring. which is not this, one day. Which is, I know. Not, which yeah. is this year's budget. Yeah, I know. But we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, and budget. And budget. Um, I think with the budget. Well, I think actually our budget discussion should be fairly short. Hopefully, now it will be. Um, we need an update on anything. I know that's what I'm, I'm yeah, like. Do we need like an update on? Um, what are some things that we've said lately that we actually? I would like composting. an update. <laughs> what composting? composting. Oh. Oh, they're doing it. They're actually doing it. Yeah, that's that's so that that would be good. Yeah. It's so that's the project that place. we did last year. That yeah, right. Bella, we did the video yeah. with CSB. Yeah. yeah. That should go in the letter to the community. Yeah, like, yeah that would be a really good Because that could just send kind of a short list of things, like fun things the kids I do. I yes. do a list. Thank you. <laughs> that is brilliant. That would be great. OK, compost. Um, do you want a more formal compost update? Do you have some kids who want to talk about the compost? I'm sure we can find some. Because that would be yep. great to have yep. kids Tomorrow's the compost do their little, their little compost presentation on what the compost is looking like. The wetness test. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she was like, dead, and I will never get that. I just have to do that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. When you, you Fair know. enough. Um, <laughs> I, I, this could be an SU thing. Um, we have not heard an update on proficiency-based standards. It's SU. Yeah, and it are, is that planned? January. Yeah, we. Oh, it is. So I'm feeling like it's time to hear that. And yeah, and it's happening. There you go. The curriculum awesome. report happens in January. Yeah. But it's more than the curriculum report. It's really like it's our, our 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 staff good. really understanding the standards because I'm still hearing anecdotal comments about like percentages being given out and the percentage being equated to a number. a number and like is that just one anecdote that I'm hearing or is there more I, I think staff do that in their in their heads because yeah. that's how they were trained yeah so the movement um, is still a work in progress but um, in January she's reporting out on on the plans that need to be reported out on and Angie, the board, and I wrote this note. Angie, the board would like an update on sufficiency-based education. Okay, I can tell you some of the. You might be hearing some of the some chatter um, because some of the curriculum work this year was to. Yeah, that curriculum work has been on hold for two years, and it was about um, finishing that proficiency work, then moving to performance indicators. Okay, and then scoring criteria. Um, gotcha. And Angie will probably share this. She was just in a meeting with the um, state around curriculum work. And so <laughs> the shift to, this is what I heard, she'll confirm. The, the move from Smarter Balance to Cognia, the new state assessment, required the state to develop all of those things. And they're going to be sharing them out to, to do SUs. <laughs> so the work may be done. Done. It may be. I mean, it's still. You still need to. How many years? I know. 
because it was on her her list this year to work on. Um, and you know, we were trying to figure out ways to do that efficiently with staff, um, which is hard if you're trying to do curriculum work remotely in 30 minutes on a Thursday. Same. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we cha we shifted the model um, with staff input, and she was going to be doing that in committee with people that wanted to do that work, and we were going to work out a a release time okay. schedule. And then she just had that meeting last week, and she's you're never going to believe this. So she's got to work through that. But that is on <laughs> it is on the January SU. Agenda. I feel like that's how it goes with like that's how it goes. Yeah. It's like, you have to do this, you have to do this, figure it out on your own. Oh, wait, we have to Here figure it, it out for you. Yeah. And then, then comes the, oh, wait, we did it all wrong. Sorry, yeah. I'm still feeling that, that yeah. budgeting software. That budgeting software. <laughs> <laughs> that budgeting software thing was such a disaster. E-finance? Yes. Talking about e-finance? Yes. <laughs> I just like, <laughs> it yeah. makes me brace for this yeah. other idea. Um, Okay. Yeah. Uh, Our meeting will be on January. It'll be like the day that people come back, right? So yeah. it's, it'll it. be an in-service day, January 3rd is our next meeting. So Heartland, Heartland yeah. Boys. So she's yes, reporting so. out at the SU board meeting, okay. which yeah. is later in the month. But in general, it probably makes sense to keep it light because yeah. There's, yeah. there's not going to be much movement on anything yeah, between now and... <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, right. So, exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah no, there's the holidays. It's right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. right. Exactly. Okay. So, so we have a discussion of our short community survey. We have the budget, and then you guys need to help me get ready. Yes. Yep. For town meeting. Yes. Can for February we have some sort of like half year update? Um, like, because our February meeting will be, I don't know, like almost the end of the little past the first mm -hmm. semester. Can we get like a like an update whether it's like just sort of like how things are going and the things that are happening at school with teachers and you know their I don't know whether it's I don't want to call it like their after school commitments or things like that like how things are sort of like how people are feeling yeah that's what so, I was thinking too. like so that we can sort of get a feel of like do things like do we need to fix things? Do someone need to fix things? Like just like a half a year like pulse check. Like how are things going? Yeah. Um, so that you know, like. So then, would it make sense in January we spend a couple minutes at our board meeting if there's anything specific that yes. you want us to do for February? Yeah. We talk about yes. it in January. Yeah, I think that that would be good. And like you know, it could be what we call that the pulse check. The pulse check. The pulse check. check. <laughs> pulse check. Pulse pre pulse, pulse planning for the pulse check. Pre, yeah, the pre pulse. Yep. <laughs> pre plan for the pulse check. It's a lot of peas. That's the P E P. <laughs> okay. Um, are you writing that down as a I note? Think. Because I don't expect who. Oh. Waiting for the pulse check? Yeah. In the P -P -P just so that somebody doesn't have to translate what we all just said. <laughs> okay. P -P -P awesome. Okay, then I think that um, I think we're ready for our motion to adjourn. I, just say, I motion to adjourn. I'll second. Beth motions to adjourn with Sarah as a second. And we decided that we didn't need to vote on this because we're a small board and we can do it by consensus. So, Colleen, do you agree with us? I can't even see Colleen. Like, Colleen's like voting. Oh, there she Colleen's is. Good. She's happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop the recording.